you have a culture in your company, whether you like it or not, and whether you know it or not, you got a culture. I don't care if you got three people, one person, or 25. Hell, I don't care if you got 100. You have a culture and don't have that blind spot as an owner. You need to understand and develop and really, really embrace that culture to get what you want. Welcome to the Small Business Safari, where I help guide you to avoid those traps, pitfalls, and dangers that lurk when navigating the wild world of small business ownership. I'll share those gold nuggets of information and invite guests to help accelerate your ascent up that mountaintop of success. It's a jungle out there, and I want to help you traverse through the levels of owning your own business that can get you bogged down and distract you from achieving your own personal and professional goals. So strap in, Adventure Team, and let's take a ride through the safari and get you to the mountaintop. Hey, Adventure Team, it's Chris, and it's Friday. This week, we had a great episode with Dave Mormon, the home service business coach. When you listen to this episode, you're going to hear that really what made him successful was probably started from him early on in life. He was an athlete. He took that athletic prowess and the discipline it takes to become good at it being an athlete. And he really turned it into something that became more business related. Even though he had a setback in his athletic career, he started to get into business. He was in business school in Canada, but realized that all of his professors had no real world business experience. So what did he do? He went out and got involved in a college painting business. So he bought into a franchise and painted houses for the summer. He used his friends, he used his colleagues to help him paint these houses, but he learned what it takes to run a business. He graduates, get into the painting. And really, he talked about one of the things that I think is key is he has a growth hack, find people who have this business experience, bring them in, and then you can teach them the skills. You can't teach the want to, you can't teach the drive, you can't teach the commitment. What you can teach are the skills they need to be successful. So think about that when you're going to hire those people. We've talked about hiring quite a bit over these years in the podcast. So hiring the right person with the right attitude and then teaching them and training them with the skills that they need is so key. He gives back to Cambodia doing a percentage of his sales and giving back to water drinking wells in Cambodia. What a great and cool concept. It's great and good in so many ways. Let's hit it down. First, employees want to be part of something that's doing something that's a little bit bigger than them. So they're, they're making the life a little bit better for people. That's pretty cool. Secondly, a lot of customers, whether you want to admit it or not, and maybe it sounds like it's a little contrived, but they want to hear that you're doing something as a business to give back to somebody in a community. It gives 3% back of all sales to Cambodia and the Cambodia and the well water project. What a really cool concept. We talked a lot about culture. And if you haven't heard this one before, you have a culture in your company, whether you like it or not, and whether you know it or not, you got a culture. I don't care if you got three people, one person or 25. Hell, I don't care if you got a hundred, you have a culture and don't have that blind spot as an owner. You need to understand and develop and really, really embrace that culture to get what you want. You want to break away and get away from the business so you can do other things as a business owner, develop that culture, find those people who want to train them with the skills, give them the incentives, help them hit their own personal and professional objectives. Think about that for a minute. How cool is that? If you think about your best boss ever, I bet you it wasn't the person who came up to you and asked you for the TPS report in the uh, movie, The Office, right? Office Space was the name of that movie. The TPS report. Hey, where's my report? Hey, did you hit your numbers? No. The best boss you ever had was somebody who asked you that really powerful question. Are you hitting your personal and professional goals? And that stuff right there is gold. And hitting that culture really helps people. So as he grows his own business, he talks about that and what he's doing. And now he's giving back and doing coaching, which is really cool because you're giving back to other companies. There is so much professionalism that needs to go around in the home service space that I can't stand it. And that's why I'm on a mission to make this happen. That's why I started the Home Service Institute. If you don't know much about that, go out there and take a look at the homeserviceinstitute.com. Can't say this enough. I'm getting even more passionate about how important this is for all home services companies. We all need it. 
And we want us all to raise our level and our bar for what we expect, not only of ourselves or our employees, but what our customers need to expect in customer service. And Dave has got it nailed. Go check out Dave in the Home Service Institute. I said the Home Service Institute. Sorry, Dave. I meant the Home Service Business Coach because he does a great job. He works with pressure washers. He works with painters. He's got a great niche uh, that will help people figure out how to systematize your business and turn it around and get it going and doing the things that you want to do if you're in that pressure washing business. So go check out Dave Mormon and the Home Service Business Coach. I'm going to finish this episode talking once again about how important it is for you to set a goal for yourself as a company. I did a planning exercise with my, my own team and I asked them all to pick a word of the year. And my word of the year this year is going to be attitude and altitude. My positive attitude is going to raise my altitude. And I want to challenge all of you to find one word of the year that's going to help you raise your altitude and get you up that mountaintop of success to get you to the right spot to make sure that you're successful in all the ways you want to. So go out there and make it a great day, Adventure Team. And until next time, make it happen. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Small Business Safari. Don't forget to go out and rate, review, and follow me. And if you like this episode, go out and check out my other episodes or check out my Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn for other great content. And remember, your positive attitude will help you achieve your higher altitude in the wild world of small business ownership. Until next time, make it a great day, Adventure Team. Thank you.